Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Home Automation. Today we're going to look at a plugin called AdGuard Home. This plugin is for blocking all ad requests throughout your network and for all your devices. So instead of having to install ad blockers on each device, you install the ad blocker on your entire network and any device on your network will hopefully not show you any ads. Not only does this save you bandwidth, but it also saves you from being tracked. On the home page, you will see that you have statistics on the top. Total number of requests generated, how many of them were blocked, blocked malware phishing requests, blocked adult websites requests. And then uh, it'll also give you a view of the top clients that generated the queries and the top query domains and the top blocked domains. Right? I was very surprised to find out that one of my devices was going crazy and uh, it was sending over 7,000 requests in 24 hours. When I looked up my uh, Google Wi-Fi, this device turned out to be a uh, Amazon Echo. I'm, I took that off the network and I'm gonna see if it needs a firmware update. So thanks to AdGuard Home, at least I got visibility into that. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I would highly recommend this software for everybody because you can actually see if any device on your network is compromised or if it's sending excessive requests uh, you know, to DNS servers and uh, kind of block that. In the settings, you have uh, the general settings wherein you can set the frequency of updating your filters. So basically, AdGuard uses filters that are maintained by the community. I've selected all the four different filters that come out of the box. You could also have DNS allow lists or DNS uh, rewrites. So if you want to allow certain DNSs that are blocked, you could do that, whitelist them. And if you want to rewrite or redirect certain DNSs to some other website, you could do that as well if you want to. So this one also gives you custom filtering tools. You could actually have a regular expression uh, by which you could block certain sites. So let's say if I want to block any URL that contains torrent in its uh, uh, you know, URL, then I could block that as well using this example over here. Other general settings include for kids specifically that you can enable safe search and you can enable parental controls for your web service. So this will allow more safety for your little ones when they are browsing the internet. You could define your log configuration, how many days you want to keep your logs and how many days you want to keep your statistics. Uh, and also you can choose to block or unblock services from this tab. For example, let's say you have a fight with your wife. Well, here you go, no Netflix for you. <laughs> I don't know how well that would work for you, so don't try that at home. Uh, next thing uh, I'll go to is the DNS settings. You could choose how many requests one client is allowed to make per second. You could also select what DNS servers are queried. I could choose that, okay, this is one DNS server co coming out of the box, but I could have 8.8.8.8, which is the Google DNS server uh, queried as my uh, upstream DNS if I want to. Uh, but the defaults work out well. I know they might be using our data in the back end, but hey, if it's giving you a little bit of uh, network security, why not? And then uh, you have the option of allowing certain clients to access the internet by defining the client list over here or you can actually block some clients uh, from, from this list or uh, even block some domains that you don't want to be accessed from your network, right? So if I want some kind of an adult website to be blocked, I could just enter the URL over here and it'll block that domain completely. Uh, you could choose to have uh, encrypted communications over DNS uh, using DNS over HTTPS. You will have to understand the intricacies of doing that. I do not, so I have left it as is. You could uh, go into your client settings and you could see what clients are accessing your AdGuard home right now in the runtime. I have all these clients that are currently using the DNS provider by AdGuard home. And DHCP settings. So you could actually have AdGuard as a DHCP server on your network. So what this does is that instead of just seeing the router IP address with all the DNS requests, you would actually see each device and what DNS domain that device is requesting. So this will give you deeper insight into your device and the behavior. Uh, you could define static DHCP leases that you want the static IP addresses for each device over here. And then this is a beautiful page of query log and you can actually see what clients are requesting what domains over here, right? And finally, the setup guide. So you could actually run this through your router or you could have all of these uh, different options of running through iOS, Android, Mac OS, uh, and it also gives you a DNS privacy page wherein if you want to use DNS over HTTPS, you will need to configure encryption. So how to do that, you'll get a link over here, right? It's not too difficult to set up and I will be doing that in the near future as I want to secure everything down. So here it is, AdGuard Home, a gatekeeper for your network. And I hope this helps you. So please let me know if you like this video and uh, what you would like me to focus on next. Uh, your feedback really helps. Until next time. Thank you.